Every day, millions of people eat out at restaurants, go to the movies or parks without thinking for a minute that something could go wrong. Yeah, but in this day and age, with events like what just happened this morning in Alexandria, Virginia, you have to be ready to protect yourself in the unpredictable situations. Mm -hmm. So here to share her tips to help keep you safe is security expert and former Secret Service agent, Evie mm -hmm. Pumpares. <laughs> Hi, Evie. We're How close. are you? Very close. Very close. <laughs> you know what? It's funny. We were, talk we were talking about this this morning, and no one wants to wake up in the morning and walk out of the house yeah. paranoid, like looking and being afraid. Living in fear. That's not what we're talking about, is it? No, this is not. You can't live in paranoia. You need to go out and do all these things you need to do, but we need to alter your psychological mindset, and that means, number one, start assessing your surroundings and environment. Just per understand the world we live in today. That's it. Pretend you're on, and let's say you were with friends in an open area that happened, like, like what happened today. A field. Yeah, an open so field. Does what not would be, what, what could one do? So the, you want to think, I need to make myself small. If shots are being fired, you don't want to run in the moment that shots are being fired. You want to get down to the ground, get very low to the mm -hmm. ground, because that person is standing upright and their line of sight is going to be up here. They're going right. to go up so to the easiest targets. Exactly. And anything that's moving as well, they're going to aim for. So you want to go low to the ground, if there's something you can hide behind, even if it's as small as a fire hydrant, let's say, just make yourself teeny tiny, get back there. Now, if there's a moment where you hear gunshots stopping, that means that's probably in that moment that person's doing a Reloading, reload, which yeah. is what we also think happened this morning, because there was a moment, there was a pause, and actually one of the victims, one of the individuals being shot at, he used that moment to run away and get some cover. So if you hear that pause, it means, hey, there's a reload happening, but should, run. But should you run? Because what people reload quickly in and, those situations. And what if you're not, what if he just paused for one second? Yeah. And there might be to, more one, yeah. more than one person it's attacking. It's not that, well, yes. You have to see also, are we yeah. dealing with multiple attack attackers? Right. This is a lone shooter, and we do see a lot yeah. of You don't know that at first, right. do you? Time, just, no. no, that's why you have to assess. Take a moment to try to understand what is happening around you. Okay. It's easy to say don't panic, but everything naturally in us in our DNA says panic. Run, run. This run, is, yeah, right. you know, that's the hard part. You know, and we're going to discuss that. One of the things is is when you get to an environment, let's say we're at a restaurant, right? We go yeah. to a restaurant. The first thing you're thinking about food. I want you to hold off on picking up that menu. And when you get to that restaurant, take a moment, assess your surroundings. First, you want to sit where there's a wall. I never sit in the middle of a restaurant. I, I want to know who's behind me, and I want nobody behind me. Plus, if, if I have my back to the restaurant, to the wall, I can see everything that's happening. And if there's a problem coming my way or an active shooter, I will see it first. So what about the friend that's having lunch with you? You make that This person. is where This is where my husband and I actually fight over the seat. But I tell him, like, I got you, sweetie. If it's coming, I'll let you know right away. Oh, it's so funny. A friend of mine's uh, husband is, is a homicide detective, and he always sits with his back yes. to the wall, always looking out. He puts his wife with her. But, but he'll protect. But he'll but protect. He's, he's, but even, even, I don't know. But a guy that will do that, I don't know. I find a table that's close to the wall, right? And then the other thing I want you to do is go straight to the bathroom. You got to wash your hands anyway. Go to the bathroom and assess the bathroom. One, right. is there a lock on the door in the bathroom? If there is, that's a place that you can run to to hide and get cover. You lock that door, not the stall door or the actual door. Also see if there's a window in the bathroom. That's another way for you to escape and get out. Gosh. And also remember, there's almost always two ways in and out of a restaurant. The front door, which you really probably won't want to use. And the kitchen. And the kitchen. Mm, Everybody yeah. forgets that. Go for that kitchen. Find that back door. Uh, movie theater. We just have a couple of seconds. But how? You know what, what do you, Don't do you? sit in the middle. Don't sit in the middle. I yell at my husband. Do not sit, sit in the, the middle. Edges. Sit on the edges. Find an exit door and not the main one you walked Got in. It. Something in the back. Okay, we're Everybody's going to be fighting over those very spots, though. If they're yeah. paying attention, good. They yeah. should All right. be. Well, Evie, you're going to show us some actual physical self-defense moves we can have if someone approaches us. We're going to do that uh, after the commercial break. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.